Hey there, and welcome to the channel. Today, we're talking about floor mats. So in just about any time that, uh, that I get a new car or new something like that, I always like to protect it. And to do that the best, I've found these all weather mats uh, certainly help out. Now, uh, the Ford Focus here, I actually owned a 2012 a uh, little while back, and I had the OEM uh, factory rubber all weather floor mats. Uh, those floor mats worked pretty well, but the sides were not quite as high as what I really would have liked. Uh, so I ended up running into some times where uh, sometimes the snow during the winters up here in Massachusetts uh, would get pushed over and onto the carpet. And so this time around, I wanted to go with a set of floor mats that are going to be a little bit higher, a little, uh, little more trough, and that's really going to help keep hopefully the snow and mud and that sort of stuff, you know, all in the car or in the floor mats and and working pretty well now i had uh, i had looked at a few different brands i did some research i didn't see any uh, any real good videos which is why i'm making this one for you but basically uh, i ended up finding that it seems like people like these husky uh, weather beater floor mats the most now uh, i will have a link to these down in the description below just in case uh, you want some for yourself but I'll tell you my first impressions, boxes are a little lighter than I expected. Uh, I'm about to pop these open for the first time. I've never seen them in person. And really, I think uh, less than an install video, this is actually gonna be more kind of first impressions. I'll show you how they fit. Uh, one of the things that I did here is kind of the, the best about these is that they're gonna fit better uh, than pretty much any of the other brands. So inside of the packaging, you're gonna get a little manual here. I think it's, uh, it's pretty much more selling material to try, to try to convince you to get something else. So we'll put that aside for now. And then the floor mat. We've got our floor mat here. As you can see, uh, this is coiled up, uh, but I think, I think it'll stretch, stretch out here in just a second. Uh, I should say in Massachusetts right now, it's, uh, it's 97 degrees. So it's a, a good day to be doing this. Um, but you'll see over here on the corner, right there, you'll actually see a spot uh, where you can cut this so that it can actually fit the cars that have a factory subwoofer. Now in this case, my car doesn't, um, but the material feels a whole heck of a lot nicer than I expected. Uh, with how light it, the box was. I was expecting this to, to feel cheap. It doesn't seem to, uh, and it's got really nice large sides to it. So I'm hoping, hoping this is going to work out really well. So I'll put it down, let it flatten out, and uh, let's open up the floor mats. So these are going to be the floor mats for the, uh, the front and the rear passengers. So we'll pop this out of the, the packaging here. I should mention these Husky floor mats, uh, uh, they're actually made in the US, which is a nice thing. And even better, so this is one of the front mats. See those clips right there and right there? Uh, those are actually gonna snap right onto uh, the factory pops um, for the floor mat. So that should go in, nice tall sides, just like we were expecting. I, I kind of wish they didn't have this branding though. On a floor mat, I. I just want it to be plain. But we've got that. That looks for the driver's side. Then in the back, oh, perfect. Goes over the transom cover. Uh, so this is a stretched together pair. So this is passengers in the rear and it goes right over the transom area on the car. So we'll put that down and move on passenger side. Uh, this one's got dimples for those spots, but it's interesting they didn't add in the clips. I wonder if that's a little bit of a cost savings thing just because they don't have to worry about this sliding forward and uh, getting caught under a gas pedal or something like that. Uh, but again, nice and deep. Look out, yeah, that should be nice. Well, let's go ahead and get started. We'll toss them in the car and I'll, I'll show you how they work out. So we'll get started here, pop up the back hatch. I'll get rid of my towel that I've been using right now to protect the back when carrying around the dog. And we'll go ahead and get that, uh, that rear mat placed in. 
we've got our mat here. Uh, it's been out for just a little bit of time and it's already flattened. Should be able to slide right in. Boom. And look at that. Just like that, that fits in. Let's get the uh, camera to pop in a little bit closer. So you can actually see fits in uh, pretty nicely. It's got, got some good spots. And this is the area that I was talking about. Uh, that's actually where you can cut. If you have the factory subwoofer, it fits kind of into that hole there. And so this, this covers that up quite nicely. What I'm not totally sure about, check out the back. I wonder if that's right. Well, consulting to be uh, certain, I grabbed our directions here. So that's gonna be the thing I'll need to do. So if you take a look here, it tells us uh, that's actually where you trim in case uh, you've got the factory Sony subwoofer. And then if you flip to the other side, it says liner shown trimmed for use with full size spare. So I guess when the full size spare is in here, it, uh, it must lift it up a little more in back. Uh, so it looks like that piece is something we could trim. I'm gonna leave it for now. The thing that, uh, that I think I kinda like about it, I'll show you right here, is that it comes a little higher, I can always go ahead and cut that later, kind of that piece where it comes up. But for the most part, uh, my dog jumps in and out of the car all the time. So this, this actually may be a nice thing that it's still there. We're now into the back of the car here. Go ahead, remember to take your factory floor mats out. Uh, these guys are pretty thin and, and not the super highest quality, but it's nice that the car came with them. So take your factory floor mats out. We'll grab our new ones right here. And these should just slide right into place. Make sure to get them properly situated. Right underneath. Awesome. And that covers up the whole back. That's in, uh, that's in great shape. On to the front. So we're now on to our front mat here. Uh, it looks like you just kind of pop it straight up. It's going to come apart from the little snap in the ground. The floor mat's going to pull right out. Uh, but you'll actually notice this floor mat's got some, uh, some grass and that sort of thing on there. That's because, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get these floor mats till after I took delivery of the car. Otherwise, I would have kept this totally clean. So let's go ahead, grab our vacuum real quick. We'll clean it up, and then that way we're not covering, you know, old dirt with a, uh, a new floor mat. So that's all nice and cleaned up. We've got our new floor mat, and this is going to slide underneath the pedals. And what you're looking for is for it to snap right into place. So it's got those two little snaps like I talked about down at the bottom. That's gonna keep it from sliding forward. We'll see the lighting's not the best, but take a look inside here. Uh, it actually fits in. I mean, that is, that is pretty nice. That's awesome. So I'll fit in, nice clean underneath. Just get the passenger side done. Same thing in the passenger side. This pulls up, factory floor mat comes out, and then uh, you would have heard I was saying that it didn't have any dimples. Well, that must be, you know, something that's uh, that's new and different on this Model 17, because actually in the floorboards there aren't any. So it's nothing, nothing against what uh, what Husky does. Still looks like they have. Whew, these are nice. Yeah, I mean, take a look at that. That looks pretty great. So if we look into there, it's nice and flush. Those are looking nice. Well guys, thank you for watching this video. It is hot out here. I can't believe that I'm buying floor mats for winter time 
uh, when it's like 98, 99 degrees out. It's crazy hot. Uh, but what I can say, I mean, this is a nice upgrade. So if you take a look at the factory floor mats, they're pretty thin. They're made out of relatively inexpensive material. Uh, they did fit nicely in there, but this isn't gonna do a whole ton to protect your investment. And remember, I mean, one of the keys to keeping, keeping a nice car is keeping the interior looking good. So while you spend a few bucks now for a nice quality liner like this, it's gonna be something uh, that you're really gonna enjoy as you go on. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, I know a lot of you are new to this channel. I promise there's going to be a lot of great content to come. I want you to be able to join me, so go ahead, click that subscribe button. It is super helpful. It allows me to, uh, to go ahead and create awesome content. And we're gonna have a lot of fun with this Focus ST. It's gonna start slow. Things like floor mats aren't as sexy as a lot of the stuff that's coming soon. Thanks again, have a great day.